you want an exposure to a market or an everything asset. they need in one place. We're the world's foremost authority on materials, advisors and institutions. Hello and welcome to Morningstar. I'm Emma Wall and here with me today is Michael Hume, manager of the Carmignac Portfolio Commodities Fund. Hello Michael. Hello Emma. So commodities fund, but you do invest in equities. So you're here today to give three stock picks. What's the first? Well, that's right, Emma. We are an equity investor. The first uh, company I wanted to talk to you about today um, is really a core part of our portfolio, Suncor, which is an oil sands company. And I, I think people might find this counterintuitive, but we really are looking at the quality oil sands producers at the moment in the light of this fall off in, in crude prices, largely because you know, even when capex gets cut and many of the producers are cutting capex and you're going to see declines in supply, these companies are able to maintain supply throughout this downturn. And indeed, when oil prices return to uh, more attractive levels, they'll still be able to maintain their production and indeed grow it, while, while, while other companies may well suffer and see much lower production levels. So we like that from that perspective. We like it for the, the ability to generate incremental free cash flow as oil prices return. And we really like the management. We think they're focused on shareholder value. So, so this is a, a point of picking up a sort of quality company while its market share is depressed. Exactly. It's, 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 it's really a contrarian approach. And you know, that's uh, a, a key way for us to try and make money. I think uh, costs are obviously look elevated on a unit basis when oil prices uh, come down. And these businesses are quite expensive producers in terms of the P&L, the profit and loss statement. But in terms of capital intensity, most of Suncor's business is already sunk capital. So they're really reaping uh, the benefit of, of historic capital investment. And on that basis, we think that op uh, offers quite an, uh, uh, an attractive long-term annuity stream uh, for investors, particularly when oil prices recover. And what's the second stock today? So the second stock uh, I wanted to talk about, in, in contrast to, uh, to Suncor, is one of the beaten up uh, oil shale names. And uh, I, I spend a lot of time uh, going over to the US and picking over some of these businesses and meeting managements. And one of the management teams I really like is, is the management, management of Oasis Petroleum, who specialize in shale oil in the Barkin uh, uh, shale formation. And they've been particularly good at managing uh, capital and returns through the cycle. And I think they've obviously sold off along with a number of the other names given this drawdown in crude. But we like it because we think in the longer term, Oasis will be able to generate an attractive dis discretionary free cash flow yield. We think you know they, they drill wells generally on a very economic footing. So they're able to get back their investment and then make a profit on top of that uh, original investment. And we think the valuation is compelling uh, uh, down here. So Oasis, we think, is, uh, is particularly attractive amongst shale names. I mean, uh, sentiment around the oil producers is very low at the moment, yes. you know, because oil prices come off so considerably. How do you sort the sort of ones that will be able to make it through this lull from the value traps? Yes, I mean, I think, I think that's the challenge. Uh, we have an industrial model in-house that I've spent many years developing, which really just looks over history at, at each in individual well that the company has drilled to see if it's actually made a return on that well, a return on its investment. And you can get that data from state, state files happily in the US. There's great availability of reams and reams of data in both in Texas and North Dakota. And you can generally tell whether a company has delivered a return on its investment. And what you find is quite surprising is that probably the majority of those businesses, even in the, in the good years, have struggled to generate a return on that investment. So it's vital to, to buy businesses that are able to recycle cash effectively. Otherwise, it's just a washing machine. And over time, you're not generating incremental value. You're just taking more and more money from shareholders. And that's what these, the bad companies do. They just keep coming back to the market to bail themselves out, either in terms of more credit or more equity. So it's really important to pick those businesses that you know, have a virtuous recycle ratio. And I believe the third stock is a copper stock. Yes, um, copper has obviously sold off um, uh, in, in sort of highly correlated manner, surprisingly, with, with oil. Although copper has very different supply and demand fundamentals, and I think actually probably more positive even in the, in the short term. And uh, one of the companies that's really been beaten up in this environment is a company we've owned for some time, First Quantum. And First Quantum, you know, is a, is a very uh, high quality copper operator. It's operated a number of projects. It took over the Ravensthorpe mine and did a fantastic job turning that one around. Um, it has a number of projects, particularly in Zambia, but also uh, elsewhere. There's the Cobre Panama project that they're investing in. We think you know, these projects are in the process of being completed. And when they are completed, this business will generate an attractive stream of profits and, and cash flow. 
And uh, given our feeling about the copper price at the moment, this is a, a good opportunity to buy a, a stock that uh, is, is really slightly unloved at the moment, we think, for the wrong reasons. So three slightly contrarian picks there. That's right. Michael, thank you very much. Thanks, Emma. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.